So good evening, everybody. <laughs> um, and thank you for being here. Yeah, I want to start out by saying thank you to all of my friends that are here and my students, most of whom are seated at those three tables back there, and then their families who have been so dedicated this year and helping us out so that we could achieve all of our goals. Thank you so much. I would also like to thank my principal, Charlie Waters, who has been very supportive and has helped us to achieve all of our goals also. Um, and then lastly, I would like to thank my three and a half year old daughter, who has no idea what's going on right now. But, <laughs> but I want to say thank you to her because she is so patient with a mom who is always busy. And lastly, thank you to my mom, who has made it possible for me to be both a mother and a teacher. So thank you. Um, I am honored to be one representative for the Sacramento City School District. I am also honored to be here with so many exemplary teachers. Hearing your thoughts tonight and your reflecting, reflections on teaching has been truly motivational and kind of intimidating. <laughs> Makes me realize that with my eight years of teaching, how, how much I still have to grow and how much I can still learn. So thank you for sharing all of that with us. Um, I'd like to share a quote with you from Joseph Wood Crutch, who is an author, a naturalist, and a teacher. In one of his many writings, he states that as educators, we have joined the greatest of all communities, which is not that of people alone, but everything which shares with us the great adventure of being alive. As a teacher, this quote truly speaks to me. I feel it is my responsibility to take my students into their community and teach them how to work to protect and improve their environment and humanity. While working to meet academic standards, I work with students to empower them by working on social service projects that they develop. By helping my students experience learning through a program that comes from thinking, feeling, and doing, I hope to transform them from spectators to powerful people that will go into the world and work for justice, equity, and life. The students are the reason we are all here tonight and in our classrooms every day. Whatever every teacher holds as her or his philosophy and reasons for teaching, I encourage all educators to stay strong and always work for a greater good. As these children continue through the school system and into the world, they will be a positive storm of change that can lead us into a kinder, cleaner, and more beautiful world. Thank you. <laughs> 